So this is uh, Huntington, Huntington County again. It's our last comparison that we did, and those were the suction elbows. So we have uh, four items shown. What we want to show is the uh, strainer that we use, right? So the TFT strainer, the low level with the float on it. We showed that in the video clip of uh, the setup. So by itself, without an elbow, did uh, just over 1,700 gallon a minute, 1,738. When we added the elbows, it uh, didn't really matter which one. You can see they're all pretty darn close to each other. Somewhere in that 1,580, 1,570 range. So that's what you did when the elbow was on with the strainer. So in all three cases, right, all three cases of those elbows, each one of them restricted the flow close to 200 gallon a minute in that range uh, for that. So something to keep in mind, it's not a deal breaker because you think of the front inlet, when we did front inlet only, that was 860 gallon a minute. So we doubled the capacity of that front intake by using a suction elbow on the side of that fire truck. And if you think about how many of these are set up nowadays to use the single lane tank concept, uh, through the wall drafting of your dump tank uh, that certainly is good reason to have an elbow if you operate as such and don't use the front intake All right we, we really cannot stress enough do not use that front intake as your lone suction port if you expect to flow high volume of water with your pumper